Hey, how y'all doing? What's up, what's up, what's up? This is Chef B. Sending you greetings from San Juan, Puerto Rico at the ROI Millionaire Summit. Just wanted to jump on here and say hello. Uh, show you, this is, you can kind of see it in the background. I'm downstairs at the Puerto Rican or San Juan Convention Center. Uh, and so this is where we've been having the uh, summit these last few days. Uh, for some of you who may or may not know, uh, I have been really working hard this past year on becoming a certified uh, business coach, a Hello7 business coach. And um, super excited about that. It's been really, really nice. And we have been doing all the things, you know, so greetings, greetings, greetings to you, L. Jeffrey. We, uh, this past week, we've been dealing with a, or seeing a whole lot of amazing speakers. We actually graduated and became certified Hello7 Business Coaches. And yeah, I'm just really excited about all of these beautiful opportunities to support black women entrepreneurs to grow their businesses and to really kind of tap into their self-care. So that's what this whole week has been about. Um, this is my second time coming to this conference, um, beautiful conference. It's just a place of really a lot of love and people looking to get support and connect and to be in a community where they're like-minded folks. Um, I always like to tell folks that, you know, if you are a black woman entrepreneur and you are working to grow your business, you need community. You need people around you that are going to support you. They're going to help you to reach your business goals. You cannot do this stuff by yourself. And um, that's, what we, that's what we're doing. So I'm really looking forward to um, coming back to Atlanta and really you know, getting things going, getting things started around um, bringing folks into our business coaching programs to really help folks move the needle with their businesses because there's too many of us out here in these streets who don't know what to do next when it comes to our businesses. It's really an issue, particularly for minority-owned, women-owned businesses. So um, if you haven't heard of Rachel Rogers, Rachel Rogers is the owner of Hello7, which is a business coaching um, a program, organization, or you know, company. And uh, she recently took a leap of faith. Last year, she uh, opened up a business coaching certification program, and I decided to invest in myself and join. Um, and I'm so glad that I did that. Um, you know, some of you may or may not know I left teaching in 2022. And so now I do Chef B full time. And then also now we're bringing this piece on as well because it's so important, right? So on the Chef B side, we do the self-care piece. And then um, we also now are offering the business coaching piece. So they're really like one in the same. In a lot of cases, people are focusing in only on their businesses and they're not necessarily focusing in on the self-care part. And so this is an opportunity for women to lean into self-care. But most importantly, you know, um, I think it's really, really important. Like that is important. Self-care is absolutely important. But the other thing that's super important is community and making sure that you find the tribe of people who are going to hold you up and make sure that you, you have what you need as you grow your business. All right. So I see some people on here. Say who you are. You can say hello can drop me some hearts i would love that uh yes yeah, so we will be creating certain programs for you guys when we get back we open up the heal me first wellness center uh in december the end of december the 23rd and so we have our first class on uh, the 27th which is next saturday so listen y'all you know if you are someone who are looking to just like change some things, you're looking to just sort of 
really get deeper with your self-care you're really and, and when i say self-care self-care is not just you going and do spa treatments and all of that but really like taking care of yourself and outsourcing some of the things that you can't handle on your own that is also another form of self-care all right um, it's super important that you can recognize when your bandwidth is stretched to its limit and you need help and you actually seek out the help that you need all right a lot of times people aren't seeking out the the, the help that they need so with that it's like um i'm here <laughs> I will be here and we'll be talking more about the programs and, and letting you know what kinds of things are available for you, what kind of opportunities there are that are available to support you if you are a black woman entrepreneur and really scaling or growing your business, all right? So we are here. We're super excited. We're having a fun time. Uh, this is the last day of the conference. And um, it's been beautiful. It's been beautiful. So I'll leave you with the word. Um, one of the things that was stated this week was that big ships turn slow. And when you're operating on something really big, the thing that that means for me is when you're operating or trying to work on something super big, it takes time. You're not going to see the result right away. You're going to see it slowly. You'll get signs that you're in the right direction, but you'll see it slowly. So we have to be patient with ourselves. I always say that because big ships turn slow. So if you're looking for that ship to turn around, if you're looking for your wellness to turn around right away, if you're looking for your business to turn around right away, you may not see that shift right away. Big ships turn slow, but you have to take the action that you need to take in order to see some of the changes that you want to see, all right? So, yes, I see this is much needed for our beautiful queens. I wish you all nothing but the best. Oh, thank you so much. And on that note, I'm getting ready for our last party <laughs> of the evening. So I'm gonna jump off. You guys have an amazing Friday. I'm super proud of all of you out here who are trying to really learn and be better you know so if you've done something for yourself today where you're trying to be better it might be one little thing it might be you did research on something that you've been putting off you might have you drank a little bit more water and you've been putting that off you're eating more plant-based foods and you've been putting that off just any little thing that you have been trying to do better i'm proud of you for that i'm really really proud it's always about the small things. They add up the sum total of all the small things that you're doing adds up to big changes, all right? So don't ever think that the little things that you're doing don't mean anything. They mean a ton. You just have to stay consistent. You have to continue doing them. And remember, that big ship turns slow. The more you take action, the more you do what you need to do, you're gonna start to see the results that you need to see, all right? So you guys have an amazing Friday, and I'll see you soon. Peace.